Hey guys, my name is Shubhranshan Baskar and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add an interactive hovering menu in Framer websites. So now without wasting our time, let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do is reuse the text tool to write the text that we won't want to have. So I'm going to write menu and change this to black. Now right click on the text that we have just created and add a stack to it. Once we do that, I'm going to give it some padding. So let's increase the padding to around 16 top and bottom pixels and 24 left and right pixels. Once we do that, I'm going to fill it with white color and you can use any border that you would want to give. And let's increase the border radius. Once we do that, we are going to right click and create a new component, give this component a name and then click on the create button. Next, we are going to select the text layer that we have just created and right click and add a frame to it. Select the frame constraints to fit content like this and that should do it. Now we are going to create the expanded form of the menu when our mouse enters. So create a new variant, select the frame that we have just created in variant 2, press command D on your keyboard to duplicate the layers like this. Adjust the number of menu items that you are going to have with the number of pages that you have on your website like this and then you can select each of them and change the content inside it to rename them like this. Once we do that, let's increase the gap around these menu items a little bit. So let's set it to around 42 pixels. This should look good. Now the next thing we are going to do is add interactions to it. So select variant 1, choose this icon and drag it over to variant 2 and select mouse enters. Do the same for variant 2 to variant 1, but this time choose mouse leaf. Like this. Now all we have to do is link these frames inside variant 2 to actual pages on our website. So do this by choosing the link option in the right hand toolbar like this. Now if we go to our previous section we can see that when our mouse enters we can see the expanded form of the menu right here. And each of the menu items are linked to their specific respective pages. You can also use this to add a CTA button to your navigation bar. So what we are going to do is select the variant 2 and make sure that the height of the variant is fixed so that it doesn't change when we change the height of the frames. So select any one of the frame. What we are going to do is add some padding to the frame. So let's give this around 8 pixels top and bottom, uh, top and, bottom and then 16 pixels on left and right. Let's change the fill color to black and then change. let's change the text color to white like this. And now let's give this some border radius. As you can see that we have a little more padding on the right. So what we are going to do is select the variant 2. And then let's decrease the right hand side padding to around 16 pixels. I think it's a little too much right now. So let's reduce this to 12. Yeah, that looks good. So in this way you can create interactive hovering menu in your favorite websites. That was it for this video guys. I hope you liked it. Please like, comment and share it with your friends. Have fun. Bye bye.